Hello YouTube. I want you to see it before I'm done painting it. I painted this with the amber first, okay? Let it set up and then I painted the stripes of red. I got seven coming down from the top. Okay. Before the paint set up, I mixed up some amber with some thinner. You know, just pour some thinner in with it, got watery, and brushed over top of the red. That let the red mix, because it was just like a red stripe. I'm, I'm trying to blend it together, and the yellow is turning orange. This is prettier than it is on camera. It really is. So, I'm trying to make it kind of look like an, an a actual apple color, you know, red and uh, yellowish. So, we're going to go ahead and apply some amber over top of the red, okay? Over the whole thing. The red and this. It's 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 pretty dry. I could it's probably been about two hours. It's not completely cured, but we, we don't want to let it cure cure because we want the paint to stick. So we're gonna go ahead and put another coat on it. I did put gray primer on this because otherwise you wouldn't have no color. It because it's that clear plastic, but it's transparent paint, this paint is. You, you can clearly tell. Look, see it's transparent paint. See what's on here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and paint this. Then we'll be back uh, after the yellow coat's dried. One more coat of yellow. Or amber. Uh, this is model car paint for your tail lights and your blinker lights is what it is. I'll take a picture of both models. I don't know if you can buy it anymore, but I'm sure you could. Okay. All that we did was we painted between the red with more yellow, with more amber. See, see that I got, get some gooey spots? I know you're going to see it. It's going to be lumpy. You can't get it out. You can try to get a bunch more paint on your brush and go over it and try to thin it out. Um, a professional would probably take a little bit of thinner and dip their brush in and try to thin the paint out a little bit more. But it's going to have more coats on it, so we ain't too worried about it. So, and it's plus it's going to have clear. So the clear ought to hide the lumps. It looks like a nice yellow, golden, delicious apple or something. We want the top as red as it can be. But there's seven lines going down there. Okay, that's enough now. And we'll bring, probably just bring you back when it's done. And so this is going to have to cure all night now. So it's completely cured before I add anything else to it. Stay tuned. Okay, it's the next morning. Saturday morning, actually. Now, I'm not a professional model builder or painter, but this this is dry, but it's not really cured. If you if you put your finger, never touch with your fingerprints. In fact, if you got hairy fingers. That's the best way to test paint. It, it, it's smooth, but if you put your finger against the ring, it feels a little sticky. Now, this is what I do. I don't like painting over top of something that's cured, okay? We're going to add a little bit of thinner to our paint. And when you're painting over another color, do not go from the bottle. This is actually the safety cap off of the, ain't that a nice bottle to recycle? I've got one of these long gone lost, so I'm going to prize this one. It's going on my little knickknack shelf out here. I'm almost out. And warning, do not use brush cleaner as a paint thinner. Brush cleaners are using mineral spirits. They say this is, right there, that it's both. Well, we're trusting them. Oh, and another thing. I want to show you my brush. See how my brush is streaky? When I did my full wood grain, see that? See how it's all rough and see how that, that, that makes streaks for you, a little fine streak. What we're going to do is thin down, oh, uh, that's clean enough, it's the same color. Thin down some amber and put on it with a little bit of thinner. That's going to kind of soften this paint up, okay? Because we want to paint it completely in amber. We want to kill some of that red out. And then we're going to be done. 
and we're probably going to wait two or three days, we should go buy a new can of Clarco because we're getting down to the bottle work and splatter. And another trick I did, I had some globs, and I took some thinner, right? I had just thinner in here, which had some leftover paint. And, I, and what I did is I just dipped it in there, and I didn't brush it on the, see there's a big glob right there. I didn't brush it on the glob, I kind of dabbed it on the glob. Well, it kind of softened up so that I could go like this and get it out. You can do this. You, you never paint it. Just, just start practicing. Get some model car paint. I don't know if you can find this metallic stuff. But this is considered like a transparent paint. Uh, they used to make transparent model car paint. Like, say you had blue transparent, you always had to put over a silver base. Oh, that was some cool stuff back then. I don't know if you can get any of that stuff anymore. I have no idea. This is about the best view. I don't know why I like this one, the way it's split. But get a good look at it, because we're going to come back. We're going to put a bunch of amber over the red, over everything. And it's going to be a real thin coat, with just a little bit of thinner added to the paint, so I can kind of reactivate the paint, because this is not technically fully cured. Uh... Paints like enamel take longer than what you think when they're hand paint to cure. We don't want to lift anything. You know, we don't want to be removing it. But you can still see gray primer in some spots. It looks kind of a black color if I took it out of there. But let's get to work. We'll come back after we put another real thin coat. And then if we think we need a little more, we'll just use straight amber. There's a little glob right there. That should be gone. Spec one has got clear sprayed over it. And we plan on putting some pretty good couple coats of clear on this thing. Because your hand's going to be on it. You know, you don't want to wear your paint off. You'd rather wear the clear coat off. I think you know what I mean. Time to get to work. Okay, see that? A little bit of center. See how it's kind of runny? That's what you want. You want it kind of runny. There's just a like one drop of thinner to four drops of paint. I mean, we want a real thin coat, like I said, to get, get that paint kind of activated again. And we did not like the yellow on top. It was just taking too much of the red. I just started all over again. By the way, and we'll, we'll still go back and put some amber in between after this dries a while. And I did thin that down. I, I put it on, you know, sparingly and I used a little thinner. So it's going to take a little while to dry here. I got my fan going. It's probably like 78 degrees in here. Yeah, we just start all over again. We, if we can get it out of there, we'd show you. I don't know. When I put the amber, it covered that up too much. I want to see there, and I went down the sides a little bit. And I feathered it. You'll have to see later at the bottom. Because I'm one hand in here, and I can't get this out. See where I put peaks on it at the very bottom? And I brought it to a peak. Kind of like a pinstriping. Okay. Let's take a break. We'll decide whether this video will be done or not. Cause we'll save the clear coat for another time. It's not going to look that much different with the clear coat. I just have to go get some. Okay, we put another coat of the amber yellow in there. Should we just start off? One thing about painting like this, you don't like it, start over. We didn't like when we coated it. I don't know if the picture, I'm sure the picture's going to show. I mean, I want that red in there. We went in with, and we used thinner. I said, thin it down because it's a transparent paint. You had more. It did kind of give me more metal flake going over that with red, the red over top of the amber. It had me some more metal flake to it. I'm going to take two pictures of the bottles. Uh, the label of the bottle, what it looks like in the bottle. So, thanks for watching. We're done with this. Uh, we'll show it clear coated someday. It's going to take several days to dry.